Oh, that's crazy out. <laughs> February is like 60, 50s, the 70s, and March is snowing. Crazy ass weather. What's up, guys? Well, I marked a pipe here and here. I'll get it welded on, and then I'll weld some lungs in here. I'm just going to use this pipe for right now. It'll be good enough. Not much worried about it. I'll grind this off. It's a little bent here, but I mean, really, I mean, I'm not much worried about that. Um, I'll probably weld something at the end of it so it goes out the rest out the bumper. Later on, when I get it running good, I'll take it and do more of a creative exhaust. It'll look a lot better then, but at this point, guys, I'm not too much worried. Um, we got that welded and that welded. So hopefully no leaks. I'd say there won't be none. Um, should be good. He didn't have the right wire really to weld it, but he got it welded. So that's all that matters. And even if it did leak, it's fine. Because I can cut here, right in the middle, and it actually gives me two places to join it, so it won't slot off. I don't know, I'm not really worried about it. It's on there. I mean, it's on there good. Um, yeah, it's all bolted down. Intercooler's all hooked up. Still got to take these fucking rated lines out. Me and the wife was going to do it today, but the weather was crazy here in PA. Probably everywhere on the East Coast probably is crazy. Still want to do that line, which from here you can see that it's down farther. But I think I want to redo it. I don't know though. I should just try it, but I think if we redo it, it'd be better because it would be a straight shot. I think straight shot would be better. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to weld this up. I'm going to get some new plugs. I got plenty of plugs, but just in case I want to really crank the shit out of it. I might want to have to, I might have to go three steps colder, so. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. If I'm, if I'm going to beat the shit or like really crank on the horsepower. The PSIs or what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. I guess you guys seen that then. The Alpha's on. So. That JDM shit looks like shit, but they're couplers and they work, so that's all that matters. Um, yeah, everything's, I mean, everything's tight, everything's ready to roll. Just need the exhaust on, guys. Oh, and the injectors. Um, I could put the fuel pump in, too, but the fuel pump in, it's a trick flow. 342, I think, flow. There's nothing wrong with it. I just bought an ADM because I wanted an ADM. I gotta put the gauges in yet. You gotta do some stuff, but um, I've been really busy doing other shit as well and trying to get some shit done around the house and personal life and all that. So it's been pretty busy. Uh, about six months late on this project, kept changing my mind, so now I'm out here cleaning dust. I gotta still this line is still unhooked. Well, it's not on hook. It just should tighten that up the rest of the way. Just ready for the which we call it to come out. I got to zip tie these. I mean, they shouldn't come off, but I'm gonna zip tie them anyway. T into that one. Um. Well, I'll come off of here then T M it. Uh, let's see, what else is there? I think that's about it. Yeah, we got the um, vacuum lines I still haven't hooked up. Just been busy. Um, oh, yeah. Wife, another thing, actually, it's going to take a little longer now, because the battery would fit in here. You just have to do some fucking, per se, uh, little modifications. But, uh, wife don't like the idea of having it in here. And plus, she wants me to clean this up. So, the best way to get me to clean that up and be able to still have this all in here would be to relocate the battery to the trunk again. So, she's buying a 
battery location kit for it. She's fun in that. So that'll give me, let this in here. I'll use my moving blanket, clear the side, wrap it all up. It's not the proper way to do it, guys, but I'll be able to get in there and clean that all out, get rid of all that stuff. Um, I like to put a damn <coughs> battery, cut this right here out and put the battery right here. But she's just going to buy one for the trunk. She said instead of sitting around trying to make it and making it work and taking more time, we'll just, she'll buy that. So I guess she's ready to see the car go. Then the smack talk starts to come when it gets tuned up. <laughs> tuned. <laughs> I still don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up to sloppies yet or not. I mean, I want to. It's just the money ain't really there. It's the fucking biggest blow off of I've ever seen in fucking history, dude. Seriously. Have you guys ever seen one that big? Fucking tail alphas are huge. Dude, I hate that JDM. I'm going to have to buy new couplers because I can't stand it. Not now I won't, but I will. Well, eventually I'm going to get all thicker aluminum. And we'll have the whole thing after we fix this manifold here. And we cut this off. We get a T3 flange welded on here. I don't know why I keep saying T4. It's a T3. Get a T3 flange welded on here. And that'll raise that turbo up. A half inch. Or better. So. And then we'll reroute everything. Or we might be going with a Evo top mount next year. Evo 8, Evo 9 top mount. If I remember right guys, it's this bolt. On this side you gotta like drill out. Or drill down below it. And it fits in. And then you drill a few of these out. To get it on it's hard for me for me to remember every damn thing on these things i try to um yeah i guess the wife is ready to get it going too so anything that's holding me up is me making the exhaust and battery location kit i think she's ordering that tomorrow she said uh, i think she's getting that from summit i usually don't order from summit but i think that's where she's getting it from i got something else from summit oh i actually got some wastegate springs too coming because i don't remember if this has got a 14 in it or a 7 in it if this has got a 14 in it i'm not that's way too high to start tuning it so um I don't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, I got tail waste springs coming. Um, plus, I'll need them for a Honda. What else? Oh, yeah, the filter for this. I got a filter for it, but it was too long. But the wife can use it, or I can use it from one of the other cars. Got plenty of cars. So, I ordered a 4-inch, so it should only come out to about right here. So, should be plenty of room. Um, man, that Alpha is huge, isn't it? Uh, these Alphas were specifically designed to work with MAF cars. This is not a MAP car, this is a MAF car. Um, shit. Forgot to hook something up. We got the hook air idle control up, guys. I don't want to start that. I've been like, what the fuck? I'm just gonna have to remember to tighten it, though. Everything's starting to get crammed behind the back of the car, which is kind of like tucking it all um that's what i like to do with this battery see this battery here and the ground all comes out through here so what i'm going to do is the ground goes to there to there i'll let these grounds there 
pull this ground out with this. And we're going to round that all over to here, which I have holes cut. And behind, and then back into the car. And that'll take away all this wiring loom here. So. Or I might let it out here, too. I thought about that, too. I might just take it out here and just and then take it underneath and let it. Because the simple fact, then you got to extend the accessory wire here, which is really no big deal. That just runs, I think that right there would be fine to do anyway. To extend that. Just take this wire out of the loom. And extend it this way and back it around over to there and connect it with that which i think would look cleaner then you'd have like this would all be going right here this whole wiring line there would be going <coughs> got the stove fired up it's cold as shit dude it's like 20 degrees out but yeah that's the biggest blow off valve i've ever seen in history i know that doesn't look like it's watered but it is it's welded on there. It used to have a lip on it. It's just bonded across. So that's fine. That'll work. Um, thanks to Travis for doing getting that done for me. Yeah, eventually we'll have it all welded up. Step by step. I'm just ready to get out there and beat up on some fucking wanna be big names. Like, subscribe and uh enjoy.